All right, Nick, let's talk about the Los Angeles Rams. This is a team that really keeps things close to the vest as far as who they're looking at in the draft. We all know how that works out. Last year, they got Puka Nakua, probably one of, if not the biggest steal of the draft. Absolutely phenomenal player. But it seems like the Rams have come out and given a little bit of information about someone else they may be looking at for this year's draft. Let's get into the article, and then we can talk more about it on the other side. This is from Rams Wire. It says, there haven't been many reports about who the Rams are showing interest in leading up to the draft, which isn't surprising given how good the organization is at preventing information from leaking. However, there have been a few reported meetings between the Rams and prospects. We can add NC State edge rusher slash D lineman Savion Jackson to the list. According to Aaron Wilson, the Rams are among teams showing interest in Jackson along with the Broncos, 49ers, and Chargers. Jackson is undersized at 6'2", 263 pounds, but he's a good run defender and has a 79-inch wingspan, so he has some length on the edge to make up for his smaller frame. Nick, I think this sounds like just the kind of guy that the Rams are looking for. I know you have some interesting thoughts on this one, but before we get to you Rams fans in the comment section below, we all know that we've asked multiple times who you think the Rams are getting in the first round. Let us know in the later rounds who was a surprise pick that you were thinking the Rams may pick up on day two or day three. Let us know in the comment section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on this latest pickup by the Rams? Look, anything when it comes to making a draft pick, when teams are focusing on certain teams have a type, right? The, the Pittsburgh Steelers, for example, very famously, they have a type. They get those wide receivers. They do a great job developing them. I think the Baltimore Ravens do a great job with defensive backs, right? Dallas Cowboys do a great job with offensive linemen, right? There's a lot of examples of like that where teams have a certain type of position where they're able to find diamonds in the rough. The Rams have a type, and it's about defensive linemen. You can obviously go back to the Aaron Donald now that he's retired. Of course, he was a phenomenal find. Obviously, they got him in the first round, but a lot of people had questions about him. But I'm going to go back to the last draft class. You look at a guy like Byron Young. You look at a guy like Kobe Turner, two guys that kind of surprised a lot of people, came out and played at a really high level. And if you look at the weaknesses for Young and Turner, they read exactly like the weaknesses for Savion Jackson. So, for example, this is according to Byron Young, his uh, draft profile. His biggest weakness, lacking pure mass. If you look at Kobe Turner's, his big, biggest weakness lacks the weight, mass, and length typical of the position. The biggest concern with Jackson is mainly that he lacks the ideal size and length of what you would normally like for an edge defender. And the Rams have become incredibly good at using not first round picks, but later round picks to find good football players that don't necessarily have the measurables like, of course, Young, like, of course, Kobe Turner. And it looks like Falling in that same vein, Savion Jackson, which prevents the Ram, uh, presents the Rams with a great opportunity here to pick up a guy really late in the draft. And Rams fans, I know if you look at this guy, you'll sit there and say, he's got a seventh round grade. Do we really want this guy? Well, you know who else had a seventh round grade? Puka Nakua, according to Lance Zerline of NFL.com, graded him as a sixth or seventh round pick. Obviously, we know how that turned out. So again, I'm not saying that Jackson is, is going to be as good as Turner or Young or even as good as Puka Nakua, but it looks like the kind of player the Rams are really good at evaluating and the fact that they're interested in him makes me really think the Rams are onto something here and it could be a great addition to this Los Angeles defense. Yeah, Nick, I think those are some great points because we all know, like you said, Puka Nakua, a great guy. But Kobe Turner, he turned out really awesome too. And what is Kobe Turner's biggest strength as a D lineman is his ability to rush the passer. He was really great at that last year. I think another underrated aspect would be to pair him with a guy like uh, Jackson because Jackson is such a good run defender. Last season, per PFF, he had an 80.6 run defense grade for the season average, which is absolutely phenomenal. This guy, despite having the right size or whatever people are want to say that he doesn't have was absolutely adept at stopping the run. I think this would be a very good player to pick up in the later rounds to pair with a guy like Kobe Turner. Cause when you have a guy like Aaron Donald, who is leaving the team that you need to replace, you can't replace them all at once with one player. And a great way to go about it would to be to use someone that you've already picked up. Who's a great player in Kobe Turner allow him to be your pass rushing option to help pick up the slack left by Aaron Donald's departure, then use another guy like Jackson to help pick up the slack in the run defense department. Using both those guys in tandem, I think, would help you replace some of, probably not all of, 
but some of the uh, holes left in the defensive line per the Aaron Donald departure. I think it's a really smart move by the Rams who always seem to find the right guy in the draft. So if they're looking at a guy, I think he's probably going to be a heck of a player.